Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna react to Water Reacts to the Quran and Secrets of Zam Zam Water by Merciful Servant yet again. Guys, when I hear miraculous water, holy water, I think about Christianity. Within Christianity, within Orthodoxy, we have a long tradition of so-called holy water. Coming from the Balkans, I know people that go on pilgrimages to certain springs to get the holy water, cleanse themselves with the holy water and get blessed by it. Therefore, I'm quite surprised to hear that there is some special water within Islam as well. With no further ado, let's have a look. Japanese scientist Masaru Emoto discovers the secrets of Zemzem water. Science has now revealed new secrets about Zamzam water and the way water is influenced by the verses of the Quran. It has now been scientifically proven that water is affected by what is recited over it. Japanese scientist Masari Moto first began experimenting on water after he had read that each snowflake falling from the sky is unique. He wanted to disprove this theory as his scientific instincts told him that this could not be true. The geometric shape of the snowflake is determined by its chemical composition. The composition of water is well known, two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So, how can snowflakes that fall from the sky be different from one another? He said, I was determined to prove that this theory was false. So he built a laboratory, consisting of a deep freezer with a regulator because no liquid subjected to a sudden freezing can assume a geometric shape. The freezing must be slow so the atoms have the chance to crystallize into the shape decreed by God. He set up a deep freezer with a regulator, a cold room at a temperature of minus 7 degrees Celsius, and several microscopes equipped with the cameras so he could photograph the snowflake before it melted. He said, I took samples from two faucets in the laboratory. I froze them and each sample gave me a different snowflake. The samples came from two different wells, two different rivers, from two different lakes. To me, this is not surprising at all because if we look into nature, there is absolutely nothing that is exactly the same. Even if you look at the exactly same beach, just a few hours later, you're looking at a completely different structure of waves. No wave is just like the other. Everything in nature is differing from each other. A Muslim later introduced Dr. Emoto to Zemzem water so he could experiment on it. Emoto took a sample of Zemzem water and said, I couldn't. All right, I have to look this up for my sake. I do not know what Zemzem water is. So right now we're on the Wikipedia page, Zemzem well. The Zemzem well, Arabic Biru Zemzem, is a well located within the Masjid Al-Haram in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. It is located 20 meters east of the Kaaba, the holiest place in Islam. According to Islamic narratives, the well is miraculously generated source of water, which opened up thousands of years ago when the son of Ibrahim, Ishmael, was left with his mother Hajar in the desert. It is claimed to have dried up during the settlement of the Jurhum in the area and to have been rediscovered in the 6th century by Abd al Muttalib, grandfather of Muhammad. Millions of pilgrims visit the well each year while performing the Hajj or Umrah pilgrimages in order to drink its water. Extremely fascinating to me. I never knew that there is a concept of holy water within Islam. As I said in the beginning of the video, coming from a Christian perspective, we have many, many wells with so-called miraculous water. This is absolutely new to me, so I definitely learned something today. Muslim later introduced Dr. Emoto to Zemzem water so he could experiment on it. Emoto took a sample of Zemzem water and said, I couldn't crystallize it even by diluting the Zemzem water with distilled water. He finally wow. managed to crystallize the Zemzem water after diluting it by 1000, one drop of Zemzem mixed with 1000 drops of distilled water. And he got oh, wow. a uniquely shaped crystal. Two crystals were formed, one on top of the other. Mr. Emoto's colleagues said that the two crystals could be due to the fact that Zemzem water is composed of two words, Zem and Zem, Allah knows best. 
Masara Imotu said, My Muslim colleague offered to play Quranic verses over the water. He bought a tape recorder and played some Quranic verses. And we got the most perfectly shaped crystals. Subhanallah. These are actual images of the crystals that were formed after the verses of the Quran were played. Dr. Himoto was also told that Muslims recite Bismillah, which means in the name of God, before drinking water. This has been practiced wow, by man. Muslims since the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Right, the word Bismillah right, right, right. was found to improve the quality and the structure of even regular water. Alhamdulillah. Dr. Emoto This is absolutely insane, man. Really mind blowing stuff. I know about this Japanese doctor, and back in the day when I was into the new age spirituality, meditation, and whatnot, I already heard about this man experimenting with words above water, saying, I love you to the water, I hate you. And all of those words would change the structure of the water, which yet again proves the theory that words are a magic spell in a sense. You're creating reality with your words. It's very, very powerful stuff, but I never heard that he actually cooperated with Muslims and tested Zamzam -zam water. This is really mind blowing. He completed these experiments, which lasted 15 years. He published a five volume book called Messages from Water. He yeah. wrote, I have proven that water is capable of thinking, fathoming, feeling, and expressing itself. The following was written by Dr. Masuri Imoto the quality and purity of Zamzam water will not be found anywhere else on this earth. He did a lot of research on Zamzam water and found that if one drop of Zamzam water is mixed in 1,000 drops of regular water, regular water will increase in quality similar to Zamzam water. The minerals in one drop of Zamzam water were far superior to any other water he had tested. He also found that the quality of Zamzam water could not be changed. Even after he recycled the Zamzam water, there was no change, it was still pure. For wow. those who are unsure of what Zamzam is, we will explain briefly. The Zamzam well was revealed to Hajar, the second wife of Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him. By the instruction of God, Ibrahim السلام, left his wife and son at a spot in the desert and walked away. She was desperately seeking water for her infant son, but she could not find any way. As Mecca is located in a hot, dry valley with few sources of water, Hajar ran seven times back and forth in the scorching heat between the two hills of Safan Marwa, looking for water, getting thirstier by the second. Allah sent the angel Jibreel السلام, who struck the ground with his wing and the Zamzam water rose from the ground. A similar story about a well is also mentioned in the Bible. Ibrahim السلام, rebuilt the house of God, the Kaaba near the site of Zamzam well, a building which had been originally constructed by Prophet Adam, peace be upon him. Today, Muslims from around the globe all face the Kaaba in prayer five times a day. The Zamzam well is located approximately 20 meters or 66 feet east of the Kaaba. Alright guys, and this is it for today's short video. I do not know exactly why, but this video made me feel something. I cannot really define it. It's very strange. I wouldn't call it emotional necessarily, but I am really astonished. I'm wondering, I'm really wondering how it came to be that the Kaaba, if we believe previous videos, is the center of this world and moreover has a miraculous well. This claim alone triggers my curious mind, of course, and makes me want to go to Mecca to drink from that well. Now I need to find out. I'm very curious when it comes down to things like that, to claims as such. But what was extremely fascinating to me personally is that the Bismillah had an effect on the water. And this is really not strange at all to me because I previously already learned about the work of this professor and I know that water truly changes its shape no matter what you say to it. And therefore saying Bismillah, which means in the name of God, of course you would have the greatest transformation within the water if there is any truth to that theory. Absolutely mind-blowing stuff, I have to say. Learned something today, as I said previously, about holy water within Islam. I didn't know at all that there was a well within Mecca. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. Please let me know in the comment section what you think about this, Christians and Muslims alike. Let me know what you think about the healing power of certain waters. I would really like to discuss this further with you. And the atheists as well, of course, they will probably claim that if there is such a thing as healing water, why don't we serve it in hospitals? <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is it for today. If you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to further support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.